book to so today I'm coming to you with another Alprate unboxing video. You guys have really enjoyed the ones I've done in the past. And so I got another box and I'm really, really excited to open this one. I have no clue what theme it is. I don't know what to expect. We're just gonna go into it. I know that there are gonna be some good items. But that's about it. So let's get right into the unboxing. Before we start, remember to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for two bookish videos every single week. Ooh, okay. Let's start with this one. Looking through the seasons, to celebrate the unique beauty find in each of the four seasons, we've created a special limited collection of drinkware. This is beautiful. Oh my god. I love this so, so much. Look at the design. I'm definitely gonna drink out of this. All of this. Then we have the daily pin, the collectible pin that they always put in the boxes. And this one is from the book Sweet and Bitter Magic. Maybe that's the book in this box, but I don't know. But this is a gorgeously designed pin. I love the purple and the black. I just feel like it goes together really really nicely i love how it's kind of a pot and how it's brewing i love that i love the creativity of this design look at that that is beautiful next we have whatever is in this little box there's a lot of wrapping around this manual blackberry sage and cry press perfume oil huh that smells good an exclusive roll-on perfume. It definitely makes sense that there was a lot of wrapping around this. Next, there's a little witch in all of us. Add a bit of magic to your morning brew with this tea bag rest. Keeps your tea bag or tea ball or spoon tidy while you've got your nose stuck in a book. I don't drink tea, but I love how they do include uh, a lot of tea-related items for those people that do. And maybe all of these tea items will want me to, oh, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. I could use this for a lot of other stuff, just to, like put stuff in. This is beautiful, and it says there's a little witch and all of us. I'll create at the bottom, it's like 3D kind of star. I love, I love the design. This is a beautiful design, and this is very high quality. Oh, about their quality, so I don't, if you watched the last Owl Creep box, I don't know if it was the last one or the one before, but in it, they gave us a, a hairbrush. And that hairbrush is really high quality. I've been using it and it's really, really high quality. It's a bookmark holder. This fabric sleeve is the perfect storage solution for your bookmarks when they're not tucked between book pages. I don't use bookmarks. I just remember my page. But I just, I, we could put anything in this. Pencils. It's a fabric sleeve. We could put pencils, pens, money. We could put anything in this thing. Love, 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 love how soft this is. It feels really good. And it says, magic is desire made real. I love this. This isn't part of the, like, items of the box, but they included it because they want to promote this. And it's the Owlcrate Reading Challenge. So, for each letter in Owlcrate, there's a book for that. So, for O, there's a hashtag own voices. W, winner of a literary award. L, last book in a series. C, comic and graphic novel. R, reread a favorite. A audiobook T tome, so over 500 pages. Go watch my video on books over 500 pages. And E, an apostolary novel. What is an apostolary novel? Oh, in the form of letters. Okay, okay, that, that's cool. So like, Perks of Being a Wallflower. I think Frankenstein would fit in that. Okay, that's cool. I didn't, I, I learned something new today. That's really cool. Oh, a sketchbook. Um, Look at that illustration. Okay, the magician. Uh, to just draw, do whatever you want. You guys know what a sketchbook is, but can we just admire the quality of this? But also the, who made this illustration? I'm Talia Skiles, at Safira uh, AS. This is amazing. I love, 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 love this. And then we have the book. Ooh, I have not heard of this book. I have not heard of this, but I'm sure it's good. It has the letter, it's signed. Let's open. And they've spray painted edges. I was compl I, I didn't voice it, but I had complaints that <laughs> it wasn't spray painted because I bought a Lumicrate and I loved 
that the book was spray painted. I just feel like there's a different quality and magic to spray painted books. Okay, so first we have the letter from the author and I have read all of their letters in the past and I will definitely read this one. I'm really excited for that. But then we have the book. Look at that cover. Look at that spine. And look at the spray painted edges. I will read this book just for the spray painted edges. Then we have the signature. Ooh, there's a really, really well designed map. Okay, what is this book about? Oh, so it's a dual narrative story about Tamsin and Ren. I'll strike a love bargain. That is interesting. Okay, that sounds really cool. I love dual perspective stories. I think that this will be just a really fun and epic journey. Okay, okay. Then we have this packet that they always include, an interview with the author. For our exclusive edition, we set the scene at night with a beautiful starry sky and crescent moon. They compare the Alpre and the regular. They're going to talk with the author on April 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is very interesting on their Instagram. What a box. I am always shocked by the quality of items in their box. Of course, got the book, Sweet and Better Magic by Adrian Tooley, which I'm really excited to read. And we got this beautifully designed sketchbook, fabric sleeve for like bookmarks, pens, pencils. Also, very beautifully designed. I love this butterfly. A tea bag rest, but also you can put anything on this. Or you could just leave it as it is a beautiful design and just a really great thing to showcase. Oil perfume cup, which I'm still so, so excited about. And our beautifully designed pin. All right, guys, so this is going to be my last unboxing for a while, but I will definitely bring them back sometime next year. Uh, but I really enjoyed these three unboxings that I did. I will make a playlist of them sometime and I'll leave it in the description. Definitely go check them all out. They were all a lot of fun. But if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn this post notifications on, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.